Hello, beautiful. I'm out here just, I'm take, actually going for a pretty long walk. It's not the longest walk I've ever taken, but it's a good long, that's a good walk distance. I'm just enjoying the decorative chemtrails in the sky. I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of just uh, finish the list of things I think that you need to consider. Uh, I um, have another um, person I follow on YouTube who also um, has the same gifts that I have and is able to um, kind of see what is to come. And she was emphasizing on water. I did mention water, um, but I know what you guys know because I'm an uh, advocate for fasting. That if anything, if you miscalculate and you don't take this seriously, it doesn't hurt to at least have water. In relation to what kind of water, I always say distilled, especially if you're fasting because I find that everything else is kind of chemically um, tampered with. Distilled or alkaline water, which is also filtered, but distilled is the best. I'm going to also say that you should start collecting water uh, in containers. Um, to wash with, to wash with, to clean. Yeah, there's containers you might have for juice and all that kind of stuff that you don't throw those away. Reuse them. Sanitize them, maybe uh, wash them out thoroughly and add put water, to, put water in them and put them aside because the system that's being used to uh, clean or purify, quote unquote, the water that we use now to kind of you know, to do our everyday stuff isn't going to be accessible at that time. I do believe a lot of the issues that people have with and other disasters in the different parts of the globe have been partly to do with sickness. So when things like flooding and stuff happens, people get infections, people get sick. As late as 1900, infectious diseases, pneumonia, and influenza, tuberculosis, gastrointestinal infections, and diarrhea caused 52.74% of all deaths in the U.S. By far, disease, particularly infectious diseases, have killed more human beings throughout history than any other causes. During World War II, the Germans plotted to bomb RB, the factory responsible for the manufacturing and distribution of dental. They saw RB as one of the main reasons they could lose the war against England. The mortality rate of World War II was outdone by the Black Death, which killed an estimated 50 million of England's 80 million people. A nuclear war is the only man-made disaster that could equal or surpass the Black Death in terms of proportional worldwide mortality. So keeping your environment clean and keeping water on hand for drinking is huge. All right, just really keep that in mind. I can't stress this enough. Things to clean with. Bleach is like cheap and it's goes a long distance. I use Dettol, but Dettol's a little more expensive, but you could use that for like, I mean, it's cheaper than other things you'd use to sanitize or for, um, to uh, disinfect things. You can use it on cuts, you can use it just for acne, but water, water, water. And consider, there won't be garbage pickup. There won't be a way to flush the toilets. So you have to think about how to get rid of um, human waste so like, product. What are, you, what are you gonna use to wash your clothes? You're not gonna be able to wash clothes. The way that we typically do so i would suggest you wouldn't be changing your clothes every day you'd have a pile of clothes by the end of the week if you did that i would say change your necessity underwear things you can hand wash underwear socks hang them to dry that kind of thing this is important and i know that it seems like things are great right now because no one's kind of you know whispering in your ears to be concerned but there is a need to be concerned the experts that are not being kind of like highlighted in the media.
are saying that there's a concern to be had. Water, water, and hygiene things. Things to keep your area, your place sanitized in case of, I don't know what disaster might hit where. I do believe there's going to be a, um, um, it's going to be, it's going to have shock value and it's going to be different for different parts of the globe. So just keep that in mind. Generally, are you near a body of water? Are you, you know, that kind of thing. And if you haven't been like, kind of led to move from there, you might want to consider keeping your, like, you know, things to keep uh, things sanitized or clean or bacteria free or mold free. Okay, so keep that in mind. And remember, our Father is with us. He said He'd never leave us nor forsake us. He'll provide all our needs according to His riches and glory. So if you have underestimated what you need, I'm sure that things will work itself out. But right now, He is telling you through certain people to prepare, okay? Okay, the Bible talks about a period of three days of darkness. For those of you who have already watched my previous video, just one to the before this one in relation to what to prepare and what to prepare for, and that they're telling you in, in advance. Um, I was saying to get solar lights, solar lanterns, and stuff like that. For this period of three days of darkness, there is a couple of videos that talks about there being some kind of a, a EMP, EMP disaster where it kind of sneaks up, it will take out all modes of communication, electricity, all that kind of thing. So there, there won't be any security in stores, there won't be police officers dispatched, there won't be an opportunity to call for 911, none of that stuff where your cell phones won't work, cars won't work, planes won't work, that stuff is real, okay, it's a real thing. Now, as I say that, I don't know too sure exactly when that is over, what things are going to be like, but consider for those three days to be thinking about maybe just being minimal. Drinking water, having things straight from a can, things that are dry, crackers and cheese or crackers and peanut butter or whatever. Also, consider just, you know, thinking about how to keep children calm uh, is crucial. Uh, there might not be the light setting to play the games I was mentioning before, maybe thinking about songs or scriptures, memorizing some scriptures and being able to access those scriptures in that time. Uh, also, there's going to be um, no sun, it's going to be, it's going to be, I don't know if you've ever seen movies where there's disasters, there's just a haze in the sky in those areas, and this is why I said not to you may have your solar lights or whatever, but you may not, for the three days, they may not be useful. I don't believe that things are going to be up and running after the three days, so the solar lights will come in handy. But before that, candles and even lanterns, oil lanterns, will be great for light. Okay, and prepare your family, prepare your, you know, if you know your children or your family panic easily, your wife or your husband's not compa try to kind of hint to what's going to be happening because it's going to happen, okay? This is not a scare tactic. A lot has been happening around the globe already to let you know that we're not escaping this. This is a time of judgment. This is a time of judgment. Our Father in Heaven is allowing this. He has protected us and he's, he's removing his hand and people have been saying that, you know, the government's doing this, the government's doing that. Yes, the government is doing this and doing that. But the, our Father in Heaven has removed his hand as protection. Okay, so he's, al he's permitted, he's allowing it, okay? It's all a part of the plan to get you to repent, to get us to repent. All right? Be blessed until next time. Remember, God loves you. I love you too. And he loves you so much more. All right? Be blessed.